That's why love is hard, man. Love is very hard. You know, I, I will tell you, I was, uh, I was in a long-term relationship, uh, but he didn't, um, he didn't pop the question. Yeah, instead he asked me how I felt about having an open marriage. And I was like, well, that depends on how you feel about having an open casket. <laughs> how difficult dating was until I saw this documentary about women who are dating men in prison. Yeah, look, I, I don't know what these ladies are thinking. Like, well, he may not be coming home to me, but at least I know where he is. on there who married a serial killer. Now, maybe my standards are a little too high. <laughs> but murder's a deal breaker for me. Because <laughs> here's the thing, at some point during our relationship, you're gonna feel like killing me. <laughs> to know that you can resist that urge. <laughs> now, when you're, when you're dating, when you're dating, I think it's very important to be careful of your language. Like, I, I hear women say all the time, oh, there are no good men out there. That's not true. I was walking across the street one time. I didn't see this car speeding towards me. This man, he reached out and he pulled me back. And he was like, I can't let somebody pretty as you get hurt. <laughs> I was like, oh man, if I was ugly, I'd be dead. <laughs> You know, a bad hair day and no makeup, he'd have shoved me in front of the car. <laughs> I mean, that's why I try to dress nice, you guys. This isn't vanity, this is safety. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is just so wonderful. You know, I, there's just so much, so much stress in the world. I don't know if you saw um, or heard the statistic, uh, the number one killer in the United States right now is stress. The number two killer is a dude on my block named Quan. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's killer Quan. Because, <laughs> you know, Instagram. <laughs> Follow him before he follows you. <laughs> I think, I think the most important thing I've learned, at least about romantic relationships, is that they all need the three C's. They need three things. Chemistry, compatibility, and commitment, right? And you need all three, because if you just have chemistry, you just have attraction. If you just have compatibility, you just have a friend. If you have commitment, you got a stalker. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you're into. <laughs> but none of that matters if you don't have communication, right? You have to talk to your partner. They did a study and they found that married women who force themselves to stay quiet during arguments are four times more likely to die early. That's how I know I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> I even argue in my sleep and another thing. <laughs> why it's just it's so it's so important we really need a good sense of humor to get through life right as a matter of fact and I think it's a theme you heard it earlier if you really want to live a stress-free happy life you have to do three things you have to work like you don't need the money love like you've never been hurt 
and dance like nobody's watching. Right? That's, that's easier said than done, isn't it? Because I think most of us work like we're deep in debt, love like we're lonely and desperate, and dance like we're having a seizure. <laughs> But I really do, I really do believe that humor makes people happy and happiness gives us hope. And my hope is that if we can laugh together, we can live together, right? Now, maybe, maybe not in, in this neighborhood specifically. <laughs> don't tighten up on me now, don't tighten up on me now. Because I've actually been treated very well here. I've had a really, really good time. And if you guys have enjoyed me, my name is Leanne, Leanne Lord. If you have not enjoyed me tonight, uh, my name is Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady be sitting in the bank, she be going, Mom, Mom. <laughs>